If you watch my previous seven videos regarding the single channel gateway with the Things Network, many things will not work anymore. The reason for this is because the Things Network made several changes to their website and their Arduino library. Instead of reshooting all my videos, I've made this tutorial showing you where I've made some changes to the single channel packet forwarding software, how to import the new Arduino library from the Things Network, and how to register a gateway, create a new application and device in the updated web console. The Dragino Shield is attached to my Raspberry Pi and the Raspberry Pi is connected to a power source. I first modified the single channel packet forwarding software. Go to LoRa 1 gateway folder. Go to the single channel packet forwarding folder. And edit the main.c++ file. Instead of this IP address, which belongs to router.au.staging.thethings.network, I'm using this IP address, 52.169.76.203. It belongs to router.au.thethings.network. That's the only change I've made. Save this file and exit this file. And type in make. The single channel packet forwarding executable is now created. To start it, type in dot slash single packet forwarding. If you want to remove the installed library, open a terminal, go to documents, Arduino, go to libraries, and here's the Things Network library. If you want to delete it, delete this folder. Type rm minus rf Things Network. As you can see, the folder is now deleted. If you start up your Arduino IDE again, and select File examples, the Things Network library is now deleted. To install the Things Network Arduino library for Arduino devices like the Things Uno, start your Arduino RDE, select Sketch, Include Library, Manage libraries. In this text box, enter the Things Network. It has found this result. Click on the More Info link. This is the latest version. Click on Install. Press the Close button and close your Arduino IDE. Start your Arduino IDE. and check if the Things Network Arduino library is installed. Select File, Examples, here it is, the Things Network. Login into the Things Network, enter your email and your password and press Login. When you log in, Select console and first select gateways. This is my gateway. If you want to register your own gateway, select this link, register gateway. You have two options, gateway connector or packet forwarder. I'm selecting packet forwarder. If you want to know which one to select, click this link. Enter in this field your gateway ID. If you started the single channel packet forwarding application, you will see your gateway ID, that's this one. You have to enter the gateway ID in this field without the colons. 
Enter a description for your gateway. I'm living in the Netherlands, so I'm selecting Europe. Find the location of your gateway and select if your antenna is placed indoor or outdoors. If you have done this, press the register gateway button. When you have registered your gateway, you will see a line like this. Click on this line and then click on settings. Here's again your description, what you have entered before, your frequency plan. I've not selected a router at this moment, but you can select, if you live in Europe, you can select this one. But at this moment, I am not using it. Here's my location and you can select the altitude and if your antenna is placed indoor and outdoors. You can set here your privacy settings. Information of your gateway. I've selected single channel do-it-yourself gateway. The model is the Dragino LoRa Shield version 1.1. And my antenna is a do-it-yourself antenna. Collaborators, you can modify these settings. Once you are done with setting up your gateway, click on the Applications link. I've already created this one. Let's see what is needed when you create your own application. Click on this link, Add Application. Enter your application ID, for instance, My Application. Description, for, enter, for example, My Description. The application ID is issued by the Things Network. I leave it as it is. For the time being, I'm selecting this handler. When you're done with this, press this Add Applications button. It will create an application. For example, this is my application. If you click on this line, this is my assigned application ID. For example, Mobile Fish. My description is DHT Sensor. And this is my handler. This is the application ID issued by the Things Network. I've already registered a device. Let's click on this link. So this is my device. To register a device, you have to click this link. Enter your device ID, for example, my device ID. You can enter your unique device identifier over here, but you can also click this button and this unique identifier will be generated by the Things Network. I've done this myself. The same applies to the application key. This field will be generated by the Things Network. When you press this button, register, this line will be created. Click on this line. Here's the unique device ID and the device address, network session key, and the app session key. I've selected activation method ABP. To change this, you go to settings. And here you can change it over the air or ABP. Copy these three lines because you will need it later on. Click the Applications link, select DHT Sensor, and click on Payload Formats. This is our new decoder payload function. You can find this decoder payload function in the description below. This is our previously used payload decoder. The only difference is that the function name is different. The old function has no function name and the port argument is missing. The new function has the decoder function name and the port argument. Do not change the function name and its arguments. The rest is the same. I've connected the Things Uno to my computer and the DHT11 sensor is attached to the Things Uno. In the description below, you can find this Arduino sketch. It sends temperature and humidity data using a DHT11 sensor to the LoRa gateway. This sketch contains several changes compared to my previously used sketch. This is my previously used sketch. There are some major differences between the old sketch and the new sketch. In the new sketch, we are using the Things Network library instead of the Things Uno library. 
The device address, network session key, and application session keys are now strings instead of pipe arrays. In the new sketch, you also have to define a frequency plan. And to initialize the things network, you have to use this statement instead of this statement. It is also important to know that if you use this sketch, you also have to use the latest Arduino IDE version. I'm using Arduino version 1.8.2. When you enter your device address, network session key, and your application session key, upload the sketch to the Things Uno. Verify your sketch. Make sure the Arduino Leonardo board is selected. And select the correct port, this one and then upload your sketch. When you have uploaded your sketch, open a serial monitor. To see if the Things Network receives the uploaded data, select Applications, select DHT Sensor, select Devices, again select DHT Sensor, press Reset Frame Counters, and wait until you see this value change. The Frames Up value has changed. Go to Applications, go to DHT Sensor, and select Data. And here you can see your received humidity and temperature data. Thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed the video. Please hit the like button and don't forget to subscribe. If you have questions, leave your comments below. I'll do my best to answer them.